Hey, what's up, everybody? So, look what I got. Woo, that's a big box. You want to know what's in it? Uh, what's in the box? So, uh, what I got here is the Make Block laser engraver cutter. So, uh, yeah, going to be opening this up and uh, setting it up. But first, before we do anything, got to make a run to Home Depot and go get a table. Home Depot. All right, so we now have our table. So it's time for us to open the box. All right, cool. So got everything set up. Ah, I do have my knife in my pocket. Cool. I'm gonna need that. These. Let's move these aside. Excuse the mess. Got a bunch of magic to gather in cars everywhere. Ah. Oh, you local? You trying to play? Let me know, cause I won't. <laughs> it's been a while since I played, but my brother played his slick and uh, started sending me a bunch of decks as a gift. And uh, got me touching the cards and filling them. So, got me back into the game. Well played, sir. Well played. All right. Nice, nice plywood box. Ooh wee, look at that. Ooh, that is beautiful. Yeah, very well packaged. Here's a closer look. That's the rear. That's gonna be the exhaust where, you know, the fumes and all of that is gonna come out. Uh, that's gonna ultimately connect to a filtration system which then I believe also has a hose that can be ran out of the window. Cleaned up the other room, got the table set up. Now it's time to set up the make block laser box. What's up, bud? Ah. Considering the fact that I have an injury, it was not necessarily a good idea to lift this up by myself, so I managed to use my computer chair as my other pair of hands to put one side in, then lift it up and roll it in here to put it on the table. But just so you guys know, you know, I had a way to make do. If you have the ability to have two people to pick this thing up, to set it up wherever you're going to do so, make sure you do that. So anyway, let's take a look. Ooh, did you hear that? Ooh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's do that again. Let's do that again. Mm. Man, that sounds so beautiful. Anyway, so you got your lens up there. Looks like we got our holes. Uh, let's see what we got here. USB cable to do the initial setup to connect it to your wireless power cable clamp for the hose instruction guide some more protection I may have to use two hands so I'm gonna cut the video for a second so I can take this out now it's time to Open the other boxes, see what we got. This one here actually feels like materials, so more than likely that is going to be some test materials for us to actually mess around with, which is nice that they include all that with it. I believe this should be our filter box as well as the filter itself, or I could be wrong and that's the filter box on one of these in the materials. Let's find out. material right, so it's 
what's looking like this is going to be the filtration system. again more material so hmm that's actually really interesting that means we are actually missing a component so there is actually another box that goes beside the make block and what it does is this hose connects to this it connects to the filtration system that goes in and that filters out any type of fumes and anything that you may experience depending upon the type of materials that you're utilizing um, because you don't want that stuff inside. It, you definitely don't want to be inhaling that. So uh, it looks like I'm going to have to reach out to X Tools to find out uh, where that package is. But that doesn't necessarily mean that we can't use it yet. We can use it without that. What I have to do is run the hose out the window. All right. So we got it powered on. Listen to that. It's a nice hum to it. Hey, what's up everybody? So yeah, the filtration system came today. So after I finished working and doing physical therapy, we're gonna come back, we're gonna crack open this box and get the filtration system connected to the laser box. And then we're gonna start playing around with the software. Okay, so we officially got everything nice and set up. So this is the filtration system. Lift that up. There's your filter. Just pull that out. This goes in. So on the back of the filter, there is a smoke in, smoke out. The top is smoke in, the bottom is smoke out. Um, so you can kind of see that on the back there. There's a cable that connects to the make block. That's the data cable. That's going to be how it knows what to do. But yeah, we're set up. Good to go. So I've already connected this to my wireless internet. And uh, yeah, we're ready to throw some material in here and get it set up. So they sent with it a bunch of, you know, cardboard as well as uh, some blocks of wood and some other materials so we're gonna throw this bad boy in here and you'll see this is here what that is that actually tells the machine what the material is the dimensions of the material uh, as you start utilizing different materials you have the ability within the software to actually customize that so that way you don't have to keep entering that information every time so if you're utilizing the same materials you can just click your default settings and then it knows what you're going to be engraving and the depths and everything in regards to it so yeah let's go ahead and get this shut and uh ready to go actually i probably should take a quick second to kind of clean off some of the dust from the packaging and uh yeah and then i'll start recording from the computer Okay, so I just got my make block. I set it up. This is my first attempt at running it. I hit start. I send it. It says it should take three minutes, 38 seconds. I go to machine, press the button. All right, official materials. I ain't got nothing but the stuff that came out of the box. And as you can see, it is doing absolutely nothing. The laser itself is not actually cutting. The track is moving just fine. But there appears to be no laser. This is straight out the box. So if I go back, 
you can see it says it's doing what it's supposed to be doing but that's not actually the case come back and take a look still not doing anything alright so we're gonna cancel the job Yep, cancel the job. Take a look at the design. The design is the default. So there's really nothing for me to change. So, yeah. I've been in communication with the support for Make Block Laser Box, and they had me remove the shield from over the laser tube. As you can see, broken, filled with water. So they're gonna have to send me a replacement laser tube. Uh, but what I do need to find out is if where the hose that feeds the water into the laser tube in order to cool it down, if the reserve in there is going to need to be replenished for the water that is inside of the laser tube. So I'm going to reach out to them and with another video just showing them this and asking the question uh, whether I need to do so. And if so, I'm sure they have documentation on how to. And, uh, you know, I'll get all that figured out and straightened out and... Once the replacement laser tube comes, we'll get that installed and we'll get started.